Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir by building things. Today we're going to add tests to our Fibonacci project. If you don't remember that one, that's totally understandable, because it was one of the very first things that uh, we did on Alchemist Camp. If you look at the Episodes tab, scroll way down to here, near the bottom, Fibonacci with Tail Recursion, you can see the video that builds what we're going to add docs to today. I'm going to go through it right now just to refresh your memory. So if you haven't done the challenge yet, maybe you should go check out that video first and then come right back here. It was one of the first mix projects we did. And if you look in the library, you can see we've only got two modules. One is a timer, which we'll get to in a second, and the other is the main Fibonacci module. It implements two solutions, one of which is very naive and takes exponential time as n gets bigger to solve a Fibonacci, and the other uses tail recursion and is much, much faster. We also implemented a timer that just sees how long it takes to, uh, to run this, and then we had some tests that we, uh, we built out. I believe this Fibonacci episode that I'm talking about now is the one and only test-driven development episode that I've done so far in Alchemist Camp. And I tested both the timer and the Fibonacci module itself. So that's what we have, but we don't have any docs. So we're going to go to our mix file and I'll upgrade this to Elixir 1.7. Then we're going to add xdoc, which is Elixir's documentation module. xdoc, I've got open here. This is just the, uh, the project page. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. The way we add it to our project is to grab this right here and add it to the depths in our mix file. Like so. We'll save that. Then we'll open up the command line and mix depths.get. It will get this module as well as some requirements. So that module uses earmark for making markdown and a few other things. All right, we've got the package. Um, I'm gonna mix test just so we can make sure everything is in working order before we get started. Looks like everything is, all the tests pass. Now we can mix docs. Mix docs will make some new docs in a directory called slash doc. I'll pop over to a PowerShell terminal so that I can open that, start doc slash index and that will open up a new window in my browser and as you can see we have an API reference that was generated automatically you may have noticed there was no documentation that I had added into the project so we've just got the barest possible docs one for fib and one for fib timer and we see in fib each of the functions and their signatures and same thing in fib.timer Let's close that and go back to our project and add a few docs. First thing we'll do is go to our main fib module and then create a module doc at the top with at sign module doc and then a multi-line string of the documentation. So we'll say the fib module provides both fast and slow functions for calculating Fibonacci, is that spelled? No, it's not spelled right. Fibonacci sequence numbers. And we can also make, uh, we can also make documentation for each individual function. And that's just with doc and same kind of deal here. calculates Fibonacci numbers slowly using a naive method. And similarly, we'll make one for faster. Faster calculates Fibonacci numbers more quickly using tail recursion. Now with both of those saved, we can just go back to our terminal and mix docs again, and we'll get updated docs with more information. 
So now we can see the Fib module provides both fast and slow functions for calculating Fibonacci sequence numbers. And looking inside the module, we have documentation for each of the functions. We can actually do better than that though. We can add example usage inside our docs that will automatically turn into tests for us. So let's do that. We'll start up IEX and fib.naive5. Then we can copy this usage from our IEX terminal and throw it into the document. And in order for it to be interpreted as a test, we need to indent it four spaces from the rest. So there we go. And one, two, three, four. Go into another terminal and mix test or mix docs again. We've got docs. Inside our docs, we've now got this example. And if we were to change this to something wrong, like if we were to say the the sixth Fibonacci number were five, then mix test will fail because of the document. So doc test fib.naive, doc test failed. We said it would be five, but it was actually eight. So let's fix that, make it eight, and we'll add this same example here for our faster function, which is obviously gonna have the same result, just go a little bit faster. Save that and mix our tests again. Test pass. Notice it says two doc tests, eight tests. It does keep track of them separately. And we'll make our docs again. And there we go. There are a lot of options we have. If we look back at the xdocs page on GitHub, we can see that we can actually pass some docs information into our mix project. We didn't have to do that. By default, it will automatically add what we need, but we can name our app, we can put a logo in the documentation. Um, if you put an extras block like readme.md, that will add the readme in your project to the docs. There are quite a few niceties and conveniences that docs can do for you. Uh, check that out. I definitely recommend it. But just out of the box, without any tweaking at all, you get you know, automatically generated docs from all of your functions and all of your modules. As you add doc module strings to each module and doc strings to each function, it will flesh out your documentation and you can even throw examples in there that will automatically get interpreted as tests so that you can be sure that the examples you're giving in your documentation are right. And if you change something that breaks them, you know right away, just as you would with any test name. That's it for today. Subscribe and click the bell on YouTube to make sure you get more episodes like it. And check out alchemist.camp if you want to see source code, premium videos, and more. Till next time, code on.